Who? Hey, you! Hello, you! Hello. You're here. It's all about you. You're here. We were waiting for you. Yeah, where were you? Where you been? We've been waiting. <laughs> I was feeling uncomfortable. I was feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, like where? Where are you? We we were hoping you'd show, and we have a place set at the table for you. That's right. And here. look, you're here. There they are. You're here with us. It's good to have you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're with good. us. Sound Me too. So uh, let's see. Can you tell already who's joining us? Anybody popping on? Uh, there's one person. It's, Say hello. It's me. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Wait. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Hola. Hola. It is Ryan saying hola. Ryan scooted over. I should scoot over again. Closer no, to him again. I just got up and messed up my position. It's fine. Oh, it's all these camera tricks. You know tricks. what? Your position is solid and firm in the Lord. Come on. Hey, man. You yes, are seated amen. with him in heavenly places. Oh. And you're doing very well, actually. Come on. So are you. So am I. We're all actually you doing are. very well. You're you telling you're doing a great proof, job today? Because oh, you man. are. Thank you, bro. So are you, bro. So are you. Thank you. Uh, so are you. Whoever you are that's joining that's us, whenever you join us. Um, we, as you hop online, we would love to get a shout out from you to let us know you're with us. And we want you to study the scripture with us. As always, we want to hear what your what, what the Holy Spirit speaks to you. And we don't just all want to bring our opinions uh, uh, by hearing Holy Spirit speak through one another. That's the way I look at our time together. Yep. Uh, we all get to hear from Holy Spirit through one another. I love hearing what you guys bring. Bring some good stuff. Mm, that's good. And uh, so do you. So do you, those that are with us. So please, please, please uh, jump on. And uh, well, I guess I'm asking you to jump on. If you're already on, <laughs> please jump into the comments and tell us what you think and you say about what well guess what i'm going to tell you we are in john chapter two we're going to actually wrap up john two today we're going to finish a chapter two chapters in to oh. john we're finally going to wrap up a second chapter of john yeah and, buddy uh it's good stuff today we're we're working our way through john and again like i always say i love this because it actually puts us in a position that we have to walk all the way through. We don't just skip to, oh, I like John chapter whatever, you know, your favorite chapter. John chapter four with a woman at the well. And I'm just gonna focus on that. Well, we're gonna get there, but not without going through John two. And even these little, this little chunk of a passage, it's not very long no. this time, but it actually wraps up chapter two before we hop into chapter three. Now, of course, remember in the original manuscript, there were no chapters. But the thought shifts in John 3, and we have a different encounter. We'll talk about Nick at night next week. <laughs> oh, that's Ooh, right. Nick be, at night. That'll be John next three. week. Yeah. I stole that from somewhere. I don't remember where. I like that. But we are... <laughs> sorry? It's a Nickelodeon. Yeah, that's where I stole it from, Nickelodeon. Uh, we are in John 2, and we're doing verses 23 through 25. So... Three verses. I'll read it out of the ESV, and then um, let's see. Last week we started with Chris, right? You did. So this yes, week sir. we'll start with Ryan, and then Chris, then right. you, and then me. So it says, Now when he, who's he, Jesus, was in Jerusalem at the Passover feast, many believed in his name when they saw the signs that he was doing. But Jesus on his part did not entrust himself to them, because he knew all people and needed no one to bear witness about man, for he himself knew what was in man. Boom. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. So I got this thought as I was reading it. Um, we had just read last week, or two weeks ago, about how Jesus said that it's taken, you know, they said it's taken 46 years to build this temple. Are you going to raise it in three days? And, you know, there's this standoff between Jesus and the Pharisees. Yeah. And it doesn't say that he went away or that the scene changed. It just says, now, while he was in Jerusalem. So at the Passover festival, and mm -hmm. surely those guys are there. Yep. You know? Yep. And it says that many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in him. Yeah. And I kind of just, like put my feet in the shoes of the Pharisee for a second. And I thought to myself, how do you stop the boldest, <laughs> most intellect and intelligent, the wisest person you've ever met mm -hmm. while he's doing signs and wonders? Mm -hmm. Like, what are they going to do? Uh -huh. You know, like <laughs> yeah, right yeah. in front of them, he is just proving yeah. 
that he is God. He's proving from that he's from another dimension while he just does yeah. something none of them could ever in their wildest dreams have done. Yeah. Heal the people that are right there. Yeah. Now, actually, they could have healed the people had they followed Jesus and yeah, yeah, received yeah. power from him. But they, mm-hmm. they remained, so many of them remained skeptics. But it's just like, mm-hmm. you're not going to stop him. It, it, there's just no way. And yeah. I just, I love that Jesus doesn't shrink back and like he doesn't do his healing signs and wonders like in a private home where the church is gathering. Like yeah. he's doing it with his enemies, basically at his enemy's table, really. <laughs> you know? He's yeah. not just doing it at his table. He's doing it yeah. at the enemy's table. And I just, I just love that about God. He's, yeah. he's bold. He's ferocious. He's just yeah, come on, untamed, unafraid. Yeah, come on, wild man. He's just wild in front of his enemies. Who does that? Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. if you do something in front of your enemies, you know there's backlash. Yeah, and every time. Who's willing to put theirself out and like take on that backlash? You know, but, but I love that Jesus, Jesus is willing to do it, and even yeah. like. Him asking us to do things like that, even if there is backlash, knowing that if what we're doing is right and yeah. it's his heart, it's okay yeah, if there's backlash. On. It's okay. He said, in this world, we're going to have trouble. Take heart. I've overcome the world. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's okay. Like, take heart if you find yourself around yeah. people that yeah. are, are mad that you love him so much or are mm-hmm. mad that you're... You're doing ministry, you know, in, in maybe places where they think that you should be doing at home. Come on. And so that doesn't mean I want you to get up in front of the mall, inside the mall, and start preaching on the water <laughs> fountain. Or, yeah. Who would do that? Who would do when the like mall that. cop says has, not to? Has anybody done that? No. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> somebody I, I know. You know, so, so we, want to, we want to be zealous, but we want to be zealous with wisdom too. But, you know, God calls us to to do bold things yeah, at times. And right. they, he, he didn't just ask us to do it. Jesus walked it out too. And so yeah. you know, I just love mm-hmm. that he backs what he said. And mm-hmm. I, I think that like healing is so important. You know, as I'm reading this scripture, like many mm-hmm. believed in him. And in the Passion Translation, it said that many believed in, believed in him, like to the point of wanting to follow him or following him. Yeah. So you know, one of the major reasons that they were brought into the kingdom or their eyes were open to the kingdom is that here was a man who was doing miracles, yep. you know, things that none of these Pharisees or anybody they had ever seen before could do. He's just healing person one after the other mm-hmm. after the other. And I, I just see it as like it is a key yeah. part of his ministry. It wasn't the only part of his ministry, mm-hmm. but it's a key part of his ministry. And I right. think like... This is something that our faith has to offer the world that no other faith can. Yeah. Like, there's so many other faiths out there. And, and hear me out. They're trying to get God. They're yeah. trying to figure him out. Many of For them, sure. many Muslims are trying. Many Buddhists are trying to, right. to, to, like, really find God and, like, have a relationship with him. But it's, like, it's Christianity that really mm-hmm. offers, like, the authentic thing. We... We, we can really know God and we can really mm-hmm. w- and really walk in his power. You know, like yeah. there's there's that that verse that talks about how he didn't go just go about that. The kingdom of God isn't in word, but it's in power. It's yeah, not just in word. Yeah. And so, you know, anybody can talk, but God's given us Holy Spirit. And we yeah. can see miracles in our own life, man. Yeah, Cancer yeah, yeah, is yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. when when you're a believer, you know. And, and, yeah. and I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, cancer can go. We can heal it. We can see. Yeah. We can ask God to do signs and wonders, and that's His. That's what He's up to. That's He proved it to us in yeah. His ministry, and then He to. gave it to mm-hmm. those, His disciples. And then, you know, farther along in John 12, you'll see that He said. Most assuredly, I say to you that anyone who believes in me will do the things I'm doing yeah, yeah, even greater. Yeah. Or is it John 14? It's John 14, maybe. Yeah. John 14, 12. I yeah. trust him. John 14, 12. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-huh. But, you know, like, what, what an awesome thing. Like, we don't have just a gospel to talk yeah. about. We have a gospel to show. Come on. Yeah, there and, you go. and that's what Jesus did, too. He, he, he showed it, and he, he told it. And so I thought that was, I thought that was really cool. And I've always found it interesting here how he says he, 
he um, he didn't entrust himself to people. No. You know, and, and and he says because he knows what's in the heart of people. Yeah. And it 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 made me think of um, Mark. I think it's Mark. Or no, it's John thirteen three. He says mm-hmm. he was fully aware that the Father had placed under him all things under his control Mm. for he had come from god and was about to go back to him like Mm. he already knew he had full authority he already knew where he had come from and where he was going he didn't need the testimony of people to tell him hey why don't you come be our king why don't you come break us out of this roman regime that's Mm. you know lording it over us like he didn't need that testimony i just I love that about God. He didn't need people to pat his back and say, you're the one, you're going to do it, you're going to do it. (laughs) Okay, okay. It's hard to believe. Am I really? Yeah, (laughs) you don't hear him say that any time, right? (laughs) Are you sure? Yeah. Because, you know, and, and we're like that too, you know, they're, yeah. they were the same ones who later on were just like, crucify him, you know, they're probably in that bunch. But he just, he knew what was in the heart of man, not that he was saying like, so I'm not gonna like ever be around them. He's just saying, I, I didn't entrust myself to them. I didn't like mm-hmm. let them do what they were longing to do and mm-hmm. what, whatever that looked mm-hmm. like, you yeah. know, whatever need they had to fulfill at that time. I didn't, I didn't fulfill that, that longing of theirs because yeah. he knew there was gonna be another longing. He knew the heart of man. He knew the yeah. humanity of mm-hmm. who we are. And so I just, mm-hmm. I just, I think it comes back to just the, the, I was reading Wild at Heart last night. Oh, John Eldridge. And it just makes me think uh-huh. of like the wild heart of God where he's just like, uh-huh. most people would entrust themselves to you because you, you talk a really good game and what you're telling me, I'm really liking. But he's just <laughs> like, but I know that that's actually not what I'm called to. I know that that's going to get me off of what the Lord's called me to do. And so yeah. I'm not going to do it. I just... That's love Jesus. He's yeah, me too. Yeah. He's good. Me too, bro. That's awesome. Oh, that's what I was picking up. That's all good, man. I love all that. Yeah, all yeah. good. A little bit what I was, you know. But there's only three. Stole it it's, from Chris. It's only three verses. That's not <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. What are you going to pull? Um, Ooh, we'll see, though. There's we'll, always some good extra. Um, you, you can feel the energy of this passage in, tw- in 23. Like, they're having mm. a feast day. It's a it's an uh-huh. event. You oh, know? good the, point. The temple ladies probably and whatever. <laughs> we'll keep going. The temple helpers uh, probably getting ready all the feasts, all the preparations, everything. Totally. And then mm-hmm. this other guy walks in. And he's like, "Well, yeah, he's one of us. We know him." But mm-hmm. what's he doing? Mm-hmm. What's he? But then they start seeing it like this buzz that has got to be happening. Yeah. I mean, we like our, our events or our different church events around town and there's this buzz, especially if something's building. There's been a couple movements in Sioux Falls and, and in other places, yeah. but as far as we're, we're concerned, Sioux Falls and you're like, whoa, there's something on that or, you know, yeah. it's yeah. this buzz uh-huh. building, but it's still within the religious framework. And you got this guy that's from the religious root. I shouldn't say religious root, but the root of God. Yeah. Uh, and he's, he's, not only the not only someone walking in it in front of their eyes to them, but he's the writer of it. He's the architect of it, <laughs> and he's yeah, he's walking on. in on a and I believe it's 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 for a reason on a feast day mm-hmm. because he's trying to reveal something extra. Like there's more to feast mm-hmm. on. Like he was saying before, oh, that's good. like he was saying something before. There's there's more. Yeah. Like the temple is more than this. The temple is yeah. the body. There's yeah. there's more than than just food to eat. He he alludes to this. So yeah. I just see him in this in this buzzy environment, and and they're like, what is going on? There's a, mm-hmm. I, we know him. We know this Jesus. We've seen him since he was little but what's he doing and he's so people are starting to believe in him for his name and all that stuff or believe in his name Mm -hmm. which i love that because his name uh it wasn't just believing in the jesus of nazareth that they nazareth that they knew it was Mm -hmm. believing in his name Mm -hmm. and that's who Mm -hmm. not only he said he was but what's been prophesied Mm -hmm. for so long that he was they were believing in his name they were believing in emmanuel um and, I, and they were believing him to be the Messiah that has been yeah. prophesied. So in this environment, mm-hmm. you're just stepping this up one more level where it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, but I, I think the fulfiller of all this, I think he's here. Yeah. Uh. You're like, what? Well, you know, and, and yeah. the people that have a heart for God in that environment are excited. Yes. They're pumped. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, people, yeah. the people who, religious leaders that plan this whole event, that uh-huh. want it to go well, and they're like, yeah, but we still know more than just this one guy. 
Yeah. We know him. He's been here. This one guy knows. No way. They weren't yeah. believing in his name, but it almost speaks to how religion becomes something we worship rather than a vehicle we use mm -hmm. to see God and let God speak. It's almost like we start believing in that and Christians are guilty, Buddhists mm -hmm. are guilty, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Muslims are guilty, uh, Jewish uh, people are guilty of doing that, of making a system something, but they're yeah. believing in this name that is, is going to upend this yeah. system. So this tension, crazy environment so, uh, of the feast mm -hmm. and everybody gathering, but then you have this tension of, of the leaders of it knowing that wait this might be true because if there's other people believing in his name because of what's happening the religious leaders have to be starting to get a little mm -hmm. nervous a little shaky yeah. in their boots oh, yeah. um, mm -hmm. and how powerful you you touched on it of course it's only a couple of verses but how powerful i i loved it uh when when they were saying that he didn't commit himself to them um uh, yeah. Like the movements uh, that I referenced before, it's it's easy to want to take your parts of the movement uh, and be like, no, that's ours. That's us. Oh, yeah. It's ours. Mm -hmm. It's coming from. Oh, you see what's coming from the gate now? Uh -huh. Do you see that from the gate though? And it's really mm -hmm. just, it's really the savior. It's yeah. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But but we but yeah. we get this stuff yeah, like right. you pointed to. He knows what's in their hearts. So he's like, mm -hmm. I'm not committing to just you. You can't yeah. stamp me. Because yeah. not only am I bigger than what's inside of you, but I, I know what's inside of you because I made it, and I made it to house me, so I'm not going to let your brain put a stamp on this. Mm, or the, the culture of, of you know, the mind, of the flesh, of religion, mm -hmm. put the stamp on me and put a ceiling on me. Now we know it wouldn't have put a ceiling on God, but it would have put a ceiling on the perceptions of his people. Mm -hmm. you know? And like, ah, no, that's just the other temple thing. That's just a... Yeah, that's that temple over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the Eastern, whatever. What do you want to call it? The Temple of the Hidden Faith. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, whatever <laughs> names they had back then. The like, no, that's faith. their that's their movement. That's fine. And, and he would have been under this, at least perceptually, under this stamp of the religious. And he's like, mm, no, I know what I put in you. Yeah. Uh, and you, although you, it comes from a good place usually, out of love, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but I find that as humans, when we love something, we pull it really close yeah. and it, we have a, a proclivity to damage it. Mm -hmm. like we put our own stuff on it, our fears, our yeah. hopes, which is good. Our fears, mm -hmm. our hopes, our, all that other stuff. And, and we, we can taint it and we can, yes. we can at yes. least if, if, when it comes to Jesus, we're not gonna, we're not gonna taint him and his word and his mission, uh, message, mm -hmm. but like you say, um, the word or the message tastes, uh, tastes like the, the hose, hose it come, yeah. comes out of. Uh -huh. So putting that stamp on or bringing it really close and having it um, before the work is finished, before mm -hmm. Tetelestai, die, right? Um, it, it would give this local perception where, where he's trying to put the footprints of his ministry. Um, it, it, gives, it would give this perception of, no, that's just, that's just them over there. When he's like, I know all men. Uh, mm -hmm. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. Yeah. And knew, right? Not just know of. Knew being intimate. The mm -hmm. intimate Hebrew word, you probably know what the Hebrew word is. But um, so Hebrew would be yada. Yada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, like the knowing you before you were in your mother's mm -hmm. womb. Limited. And yep. if, if I get categorized, no, I am not diminished, but other people's perceptions will be diminished. And, I, and I don't want just the people from the East Temple thinking I'm cool with a yeah. couple stragglers over here. I, I don't want just them knowing my name. I want all people knowing my name because yeah. I made them all. So I love this whole passage. It, actually, anything, anything uh, dealing with Jesus, it's just like the architect walking into the creation being like, yep, yeah. I know why that's that way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You guys might not know, but Okay, I, I know you want the temporary thing, and that feels great, and I want it for you too. Yes, I am yours, you are mine, but you can't just put your stamp on and put your walls around me. That's uh, I know all. I know uh, you, and you're nailing it, man. Yeah, because because of who it. I am and because of you are, yeah. we're gonna take the limits off of this thing. Yeah, I'm here to yeah. take the limits off of you guys, off of all creation, so you can start becoming a bride after my time, and. It takes it takes a wide open perception, not just yeah. like what we all still do two thousand years later and assign a movement to a place and mm -hmm. all that stuff. I don't. I just don't think um, the wide openness of God uh, requires. That's cool mm -hmm. that it happens, but I don't even think it's necessary. It, outside mm -hmm. of um, maybe piquing curiosity of other people. Yeah. Oh, you see what's going on over in Asbury? That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's not Asbury's revival, 
Maybe yeah. it is in some circles. I don't know. But <laughs> it's, it's Jesus having a revival in a place, yeah. but it's not just theirs. Same yeah. as, like, he's not just committing himself to Asbury in the example, right? Yeah. Um, he's pouring out, but it's wider than all that. Uh, just yeah. a peak of curiosity. I mean, he has to be in a place and a time, mm -hmm. but that's to peak the perception, not to close mm -hmm. it in. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was awesome. Uh, he needed awesome. not that any man should testify of man. Or, uh, he needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. He was testifying to himself because he knows what's going to be in man. Obviously, mm -hmm. you could interpret this because it was it was pre-cross that um, he knew he knew what was in man as far as how he made them in flesh mm -hmm. and how at that at that time and wicked hearts and what they would With try the and fall. distort mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Right. Very mm -hmm. very possible, but I I still think he's playing. I think he's playing chess with our checkers, and he's, <laughs> and he's like. Uh, I know what's in man, and they don't yet know that they are vessels for me. Mm. So start with me, end with me, and you'll come see that, uh, for he knew what was in man. Then you'll come see that what is in you is me. Mm. And you already started, you're already running the race, and it's already been finished for you. Mm. So, yeah. Those couple verses. Come that's on, what dude, I got. Fired. Flat out awesome. Woo, sweet. That was flat fired. out awesome. Fired. Do, we got any, do we have anybody else that was... We have, I don't see any comments, but Ryan Leiferman has joined oh, us. Hey, oh, Ryan. He is the man. Elizabeth Ryan Olson. Hey, Elizabeth. Also, she is awesome. Yeah, you are. And it's Kathy true. Lervick. Kathy, Kathy Lervick, Lervick is awesome, Woo, too. Twice, twice I told her that yesterday. She said, you're uh -huh. awesome. Yeah. She told me I was, too. There so we go. you guys jump in. Have any comments that you, you want to make on this passage? I think I'm going to underscore you guys. I'm just going to support what you said because it's pretty close to the same things I was getting. I'm just going to circle it back around and, yeah. and just come underneath you and say yes and amen. Um, you know, what you're talking about, uh, signs and wonders, because it doesn't specifically say in this passage is what the signs were. But if you look yeah. at how he bookended this thing, if this actually did happen at the beginning of his ministry and then... The, at the end of his ministry, both, that he cleansed the temple twice. I tend to lean towards that interpretation. Then Matthew 21 is a great picture of the second time. And at that mm. same thing, and it does say there, he was healing people. Man, he is like doing miracles and kids are running to him. And mm. oh, yeah. Pharisees are getting upset again, <laughs> right? Because sure. everybody's hearts are being turned toward him. And that one would have been what we refer to as Palm Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's coming in on a donkey and then he comes back and he... He looks at the temple and he's like, this is, you know, does the same thing. Because this needs to be placed in that context. This is in the mm -hmm. context of what he just did. Mm -hmm. I mean, he yeah. just, he just dro knocked over tables, drove the money changers out, and yes. basically said, now here's what my house is about. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Yeah, and then yeah. he starts going, okay. it's on. about seeing people get set free. It's about pe pe seeing people get healed. It's yes. about see people getting delivered. And he's like... You, you thought it was about, you know, you trying to sell access, your words last week. I think you had a different way of saying it. No, but it proximity. Pro okay, yeah, proximity. Selling proximity. Like, I'm going to, mm -hmm. we're going to help you get near to God. Watch right now. You can get three d dubs for the price of two. <laughs> you know, that kind of deal. Like, they were, they were using it for their own personal gain. And he's like, that's not what my house is about. My father's house. My father's house is a house of prayer for all nations, he says. Yeah. He, yeah. he does that in Matthew. Like, he goes into the the whole so that they know what he why he's doing what he's doing and then he and then he starts healing people and just like you said he's doing miracles signs and wonders and then people see that and they start doing what both of you said they start placing their faith in his name they put their faith in him and they put their faith in him to the you really did a great job with this chris to the best that they understood of him at that moment right yeah. um the best that they knew who he was was this has to be the messiah Right, and so at least probably most of them thought that. This has to be the Messiah. We're putting our faith in him, and man, that, this is amazing. But then what happened was they all had their ideas about what Messiah meant. And so yeah. it, as we go through the book of John, we're going to find out, I think it's in John 6, that they're like, hey, after he feeds the 5,000, let's, uh, let's make you king. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to have a political leader. Oh, we here. can yeah. see that happening. Yeah, right. Yeah. We need we need a political leader. We need yeah. someone to rise up against Rome. You've been doing a great job. All that healing stuff is awesome. The feeding <laughs> stuff, great. Love it. Great Whoa. stuff. 
Now let's kick Roman butt because <laughs> that's why you're here to get us out from under that oppression. Yeah. Come on, it is time to bust out your yeah. governmental rule right here and right now yeah. because this is a mountain we got to take. <laughs> Have you heard about the seven mountains, Jesus? Yeah. We got to go. Rome is right there. We got to go do this. And so we're going to make you king. But he knew them. He knew their hearts. And I like the, the other twist on it. They would later know what he knew about who he really created them to be. Mm -hmm. But he also knew that they don't quite get me yet. They, yeah. I love that they're placing their faith in me, but I'm not going to fully entrust myself to them because if I do, they'll make me their political leader so and they'll cool. miss out on what I'm actually here to do. I yeah. like that. Which is so better. much bigger than the temporal. <laughs> yeah. Which is, I'm saying what you said, just in a different way. It's so much bigger than the temporal, right? Yeah. It's like, um, it's, 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 it's a t eternal. What I've come to do is eternal. Yeah. And it's bigger than Rome. He said, he's probably saying, you guys don't get it, but Rome's not forever. Yeah. They're like, no, no way. You, you, don't, <laughs> you don't get this, but Rome is not, the, you're not my primary mission. Mm. Um, it's not, I'm, I'm here to change the world. Come on. Um, I'm actually here to save Roman centurions. I'm yeah. actually here yeah. to, you know, and so he doesn't entrust himself to them because he knows what's in their heart. Um, and, and he's not going to allow them to make him a political king mm -hmm. or, or a, any kind of king other than the king that he already is, which is actually king of the universe, king of their hearts. They just yeah. don't know it. They don't know it yet. But the other part I love about this is all of that being said, he still went to the cross for those same people yeah. who wanted to make him the, the one who would overturn Rome Definitely. and were missing the point of why he came. Yeah. He still went to the cross for them. Yeah. And he knew that's what he was doing. He's like, you don't fully get what I'm about to do, but I'm, I'm actually going to win this thing in a total counterintuitive way. Um, is it violent? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's violent against everything that we think that this whole thing is about. Yeah, and yeah. you think that I'm supposed to be about, and I'm going to win this thing by laying down my life. Mm. I'm going to lay down my life for you and for every Pharisee that was there. Yeah. Every one of them that already yeah. right now at this point in John are starting to think we're going to have to deal with this guy. He has got to go mm -hmm. yeah. and they fear the people. So they don't, it's very interesting dichotomy. They scare the people and they're afraid of the people both. Kind of like Saul, mm. King Saul. Um, in fact, that's why they scare the people. Because actually inside they're afraid of the people. Yeah. And they want the people's following. They, they want to force people to follow them. If there's any kind of good Messiah around here, he'll do that too. <laughs> he'll make people follow him. He'll make Rome follow him. He'll oh, make us follow him. He'll make ideas. the world bow down. <laughs> yeah. He's going to make it all happen because that that's how happen. we know that power works. Yeah. Power forces coerces, manipulates yes, mm -hmm. all the all the stuff that they would have been around their whole lives. And he's like, I'm actually about to show you how <laughs> it's totally different than what you thought. Mm -hmm. And um, so he's going to reveal that and it's going to play out through the book of John. He's actually going to end up laying down his life for every one of these people. Yeah, the Pharisees, the, the people who think they've placed their faith in him, and they have, just like me. I've placed my faith in the Jesus I currently understand. Mm -hmm. yep. But I'll mm -hmm. tell you what, the Jesus I placed my faith in when I was six is a much smaller Jesus than the Jesus Amen. I have my faith in now. Come on. Come um, on. Did I have a legitimate faith encounter with him? Oh, I can't see it any other way. Yeah. I remember the day. I remember the night. I remember the altar. I remember the tears. I remember my dad Amen. being there. Mm -hmm. I remember my family being there. I remember all of it. It was a marked moment in my life. Yeah. I was six years old, and I placed my faith in Jesus. Mm -hmm. But he was a very small Jesus. However, for him, that was good. He loved it. Mm -hmm. And I think he loved this, too. Yeah. He loved even though he knew, like, mm, they don't get me yet. But there, you know, there's this. There, he, he knew it was an encounter. Or else, why did he heal them? Why did he do all that stuff? Because yeah. he loved them. He he wanted them near him, and he wanted them to know who he was. Yeah. And, and uh, so this is again. This is all going to play out more as we go through it. But um, it just speaks tons to me, especially about Jesus going to the cross for people that misunderstood him and hated him. He went to the cross for all of us. <laughs> Everybody. Think, nobody. Yeah. Nobody left out. He went for all of us. And um, we all have our, those of us that are believers, we all have our current understanding of Jesus. But if we will allow Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit will continue to expand our revelation of Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. See, that's the other thing. Mm -hmm. I will hit on this and I'll be done. This is the Passover feast. Mm -hmm. Jesus is actually showing them, um, <laughs> I am the, the fulfillment of this. And this is a, a 
a precursor. He really shows him this at his because his death happens. Yeah. And is you know at a Passover. So he is he is the fulfillment of all the feasts. Like you said, they're all like, We're coming to have a feast and he's like, Yeah, a feast on me, but you just yeah. don't know it yet. Uh -huh. yeah. Like you're That's I'm good. actually the fulfillment of all the feasts. Mm. Every feast points to Jesus. Every sign points to Jesus. Every miracle points to Jesus. Every uh, shadow uh, in the Old Testament points to Jesus. All Jesus, Jesus, Jesus pointing that direction. Yes. The Father speaks of his Son. The Holy Spirit reveals the Son. The Son reveals the Father. Mm. <laughs> all of that. The, mm. But it all, it all really points to that he is our Savior and it's all wrapped up in him. So anyway. Oh, Those are my fire. thoughts today, and, and, and that's just beautiful. Like you said, just a couple of verses, three verses, Man, and all this so stuff and awesome. more is packed inside so of there. So building, yeah, packed inside like an, mm -hmm. like an onion. I keep getting this picture mm -hmm. of, of like a, he's, he's doing the personal healing with the one person. He's healing them, and they're mm -hmm. oh, thank you, awesome. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. And he's like, but it's bigger than you. Yeah, and then the church yeah. leaders see that, and they're like, oh, it's about the church or the temple. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's about the temple. Well, it's about the faith. No, but it's bigger uh -huh. than you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, then it's about Rome. Well, let's go against Rome, like uh -huh. you're saying. Like, no, but it's bigger than Rome. Yeah. yeah. You're like, what? Huh? Yeah. So we're going to overthrow Persia too, or whoever's in? Yeah, no, it's right. bigger Who, than, than the adversaries of Rome. Next. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like just beautiful onion. So I don't, I don't know if this is for now or later, but um, even if you can see one level above your situation, just in this, it shows Jesus as like four or five or six. And we know there's more, but even just in provable, mm -hmm. there are a lot more levels than what you can see. And I might even be speaking this to myself in the future. There are a lot more levels than what you can see. So don't just trust in yourself because God knows what's in yourself. And now, post-cross, he knows that he's in you. So you can't just trust what you can see. Because mm. to that person, um, for that person that got, that, heal, that got healed in that temple that day, they thought it was just about them, and there was already a couple more levels above that. Yeah, mm -hmm. They couldn't yeah. see that it was about more than the temple, more than Rome, more than Rome's adversaries. That's about the entire universe, as you're saying. Yeah. So Come on. If, if, you're, if you're being limited in your perception, that's because good. that's all you can see, remember, he's, he's got layers to this thing. Come on. It's yeah. got, he's got layers. That's good. Fire. This house is bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's crawling inside of these three verses, and it might not look that big on the outside, but you get inside here, it's much bigger on the inside That's right. than yeah. it looks from the outside. That's the kingdom, too. Yes. That's you, actually, and yes. me. We're bigger on the inside, actually, than we are on the outside. It's eternal inside there. Come on. There's eternity inside there. The very kingdom of God is within yes. us. Yes. We are the temple bigger of Holy on the Spirit. Inside. That's so good. Oh, it's just bigger. I'm bigger on the inside. Yes. I felt like when I was sitting here and we were talking, I felt like I could feel Jesus lean over on my shoulder and whisper in my ear and say, your Jesus is still kind of small. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. And, and, he, and he, reminded, he reminded me of, uh, he reminded me of when I was like, before I married Tana, she showed me these Malcolm Smith videos about grace. And it was really the first time that I ever heard the message of grace, pure grace. Mm. And it, it rocked me and I thought, I got it now. And look, I got, a, I got an earring and, a, and I got long hair and, and I'm, look at me, man, I'm not bound by religion. And I remember even then the Lord spoke to me and back then as a young kid, he said, oh, I know you think because you have an earring and a mullet, you know, a long, I didn't know what a mullet was, but you've got long hair and an earring and you think you're free, but it's just starting, son. Mm. Like, yeah. And I feel like that, you know, if we knew and we will, oh God, as, oh. we, as we continue throughout eternity, I think it will be a continued expansion of our understanding. That's why the angels keep saying holy. Yeah. Because the more yeah. we see of him, the more we'll be like, oh, you're so mm. much bigger. You're so much more incredible. You're so much more beautiful than I ever. I know that we're not going to get to heaven and go, wow, I highly overestimated <laughs> you. Yeah, you, right. you know, it's not going to happen. The only thing we're going to do that with is the devil. This Bible says we're going to look at him and say, is this the one? Yeah. <laughs> Are you the one that uh -huh. caused all the trouble? <laughs> right. I mean, in light of who Jesus is. I am big enough for a footrest. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. I, I, I wipe you off the sole of my shoe. <laughs> uh -huh. So oh, anyway, man. any more comments coming in? Nothing. Just Nothing people right. hanging with yeah, us. Good. Just hanging. Just hanging. Well, please know we love to have your comments. If you're watching this later, 
drop your comments in because we would love to go back and see them and others will see them yeah, yeah. like they'll watch this later and they'll see your comments you may watch this a year from now and make comments and someone watches it two years from now and they're blessed by what you say so um, yeah, we bless you. Hey, come yes. out and join us tonight. Well, first of all, we just bless you. That you're yes. bigger on the inside than yes. you are on the outside. Uh, Jesus is jazzed yes. about the faith that you have placed in him, and yes. he's going to bring revelation to you of how beautiful he is in you. <laughs> you're going to see who you are on the inside, like Chris was saying. And we release miracles and healings even yes. now in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, God, that what Ryan said, greater works will we do because you've gone to your Father, Jesus. So we release miracles. We release yes. healings. Cancer is going right that's now right. in right. Jesus' name. Uh, somebody yeah. that's had migraine headaches for a long time, yeah, right. those are ending. That's mm. never Come happening on. again. They're, yes. they're over right now. Somebody with Crohn's disease, yeah. we declare yes. that it's finished. Yeah. It is Go. done. What are you guys picking up? Anything? <laughs> yeah. You say that this is over. Uh, this is depression. Yeah, depression. <laughs> Strep throat yeah. gone. In Jesus' yep. name, never to come back. Tuberculosis, come never on. to come yeah, back. There we go. Yep. AIDS, get out. In Jesus' mm. name, get yep. out. Yep. Lupus. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Something that's caused oh, for yeah, someone like gosh. problems with hair Thank loss you. that's like not normal hair loss, yeah. Yeah. and you're just like embarrassed about it, uh, we just declare in Jesus' yeah. name right now. First of all, the shame of that is broken off before anything else. There's no shame in that. There's no shame. Your hair is not who you are. You're so much more than that. But I also just release like a supernatural healing. Yeah. That hair just begins to grow back. That whatever's at the root of that, that's causing premature hair loss for you. That all of a sudden it's like, whoa, wait a minute. I got more hair. And you're waking mm -hmm. up and you're checking it out. And less hair's falling in the drain. Come Why not? On. God Come can do on, amazing God. miracles. Do yeah. That yeah. Whatever's behind yes. that, first of all, you have no shame. You can walk out in public and not care about what anybody thinks about you but secondly god says i love you so much that i'll just go ahead and grow your hair back so yeah i just declare it in jesus yeah. name. miracles just, healings just a feeling empowered to walk in miracles too yeah like you're a believer you have christ in you christ That's in you good. the hope of glory yeah you are the one you don't need to call us <laughs> yep. you yeah. can lay your hands on the sick and they yep. will be healed That's it's you it. you can do it Jesus yeah. is in you. That's it. Do it scared. It's okay. Just do it. Mm. Amen. I agree Amen. with that. Come on. I yeah. agree. So we just bless you in Jesus' name. Yes. You go out and give them heaven. Only I'm not ending yet, but just do that anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. Amen. Come on, man. So really quickly, be here tonight if you can, 6 o'clock. Uh, we're not yet at family night where we have meal yet, but we'll be here at 6 with a spiritual meal. And we're going to do worship and prayer. We're going to focus on praying for Sioux Falls tonight. Kids will be with us for about half the time we're together this evening. And they're actually going to come up and participate. So bring your kids um, so that they can be a part of it. And then Ryan will take them back for a special time about halfway through. We'll be here from 6 to about 7.30, something like that tonight. Yep. So we invite you to come out and be a part of this evening. And then... Um, Youth is going on tonight. Oh, yeah, Youth that's right. Going on. Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep. Youth learning, is happening. Learning more about identity and who the gate is and who they are in the Lord too. So mm, It's going to be okay. awesome. So yeah. don't miss out tonight. It's going to be fun, and we would love to see you here this evening. It might be cold outside, but we'll have it warm in here for you. Oh, yeah. Woo. So come on in and let's stoke the fire. And uh, then we'll be back Sunday, ready to rock, yeah. in the building. In oh, the yeah. building. We'll be here Sunday morning at 9, 15 a.m. You can come join us. And otherwise, we just – is there anything else immediately? I mean, we'll be here next Wednesday, too. Same thing. A family uh, meeting will be coming up the final Wednesday night of the month, the 31st. That'll, all of those are at 6 o'clock. Yeah. So you can come out and be a part of those at 6 o'clock on Wednesday nights. And then and life groups start in February. Yeah. Family night starts in February. Yes. And we were going to have a hero service for all of our volunteers, volunteers on Friday, but that's been postponed. So yep. we'll let you know when we're going to do that. Yep. We are going to do that. So. Yep. We'll get that rescheduled for you. Yeah. Um, other than that, we just say, you guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We love you. We believe in you. God believes in you. Mm -hmm. Keep giving, giving them heaven. heaven. <laughs>